Today we're checking out South Park's fantastic Easter special. And it's only right that we check it out together today. You know what I'm saying? But listen, if you want to take your support to the next level and get access to full episode reactions, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. But uh, y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. In my Easter bonnet, with all the frills upon it, I'll be the grandest lady in the Easter parade. Look at that one, huh? Half purple and half yellow with a chickadee sticker. He rocks at Easter, good. huh? Uh, can I ask a question? Why do we do this? Stanley, Easter celebrates the day that Jesus was resurrected after being crucified for our sins. Look, I'm just saying that somewhere between Jesus dying on the cross and a giant bunny hiding eggs, there seems to be a, a gap of information. Let Stanley it go, just Stan. Got goddamn eggs. I don't feel like coloring eggs. I don't get it. Oh, shit. What is wrong with him? And I want a Valtor soldier doll for Easter and five crash and go RC cars. You got that? Do you have that? Uh, don't oh you think that's... No, no. God. You don't ask me questions. You are a rabbit. I am a human. So if you don't bring me what I want for Easter, I can fucking kill you. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Bye, Easter Bunny. Holy shit. He is a menace, bro. He is a demon. Holy shit, Cartman. Oh, my God. Right. All right, can you please explain to me what's going on? Huh? What is the deal with the coloring the eggs and you hiding them and all that? Oh, what does that have to do man, with Jesus dying on the cross? Another one. Is it symbolic? Are you trying to reference something that happened in biblical times? Easter's just Easter. Just just go with it, kid. No, I'm not going to just go with it. I'm going to find out what's behind all this. I need a break. Can I have a break? <laughs> He's had enough. Yo, I got to say, man, I rock with how Stan is being right now. He's not settling for just any, any dumbass answer. Like, he wants facts. He wants the truth. He wants something. You know what I'm saying? But he's not going to take anything either. Uh-oh. Run, bro. What the? Yo, grown-ass men. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. That's scary. And they followed him home. Oh, hell nah. Nah, 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 nah. Bro, picture yourself being nine years old and a bunch of weird ass, grown ass men in rabbit suits chasing you and following you home. Your safe space. Bro, what? I hope he's not alone. I hope he's not home alone. I hope somebody's there. Dad! Now, Stanley, I'm on the toilet. All right, bet, 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 bet. Dad, you gotta help me. There's Easter bunnies chasing me. What? They chased me from the mall. I don't know what they want. They're coming in. No! They're coming in door. Dad? We need to talk, Stan. It's okay, guys. Randy? Yeah. Guess it turns out the kid we're after is my son. Oh. What? This feels like skank hunt all over again. But rather than trolls, the Easter Easter bunnies. Tell the grand hair everything is okay. The grand I'll hair? Take it from here. Yo, what kind of what kind of cold Easter rabbit cold What? Why were those other rabbit guys chasing me? Right. We have to be careful when we think somebody's on to us. We are all part of a secret society, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I literally was just about to say, what in the Freemason-ish is this? But I feel like I didn't have I didn't have enough, enough, enough like evidence to like call it that, like just straight away. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it is, bro. Very ancient, very important society of men who follow the way of the rabbit and protect the secret of the Easter Bunny. We are called the Hair Club for Men. <laughs> Look at his face. 
face, bro. He is not having it. Is it isn't the what is it called? The hair club for men? Isn't that isn't that like a bald headed remedy or, or or a program for bald headed men? Something like that. I always oh, knew this damn. day would come when my son would be brought into the society. Reminds me of the day I was brought in by my father. You Grandpa's guys know? In it too? Oh shit, course, grandpa's in it? Marshes have been in the hair club for men for generations. We're going to a distant location. An old building near a lake about 40 minutes away. You mean the old Galveston Lodge? <laughs> Stan Marsh, welcome. You must be very excited. This is weird, must though. I? I'm not I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is super duper weird. All these grown ass men in bunny suits. There he is! There's my grandson! Hi, Grandpa. I'm proud of you, Billy. Stan. <laughs> what is this like a like a ritual or something? Attention members! Tonight we determine if a new member is worthy of protecting the secret. Bring out the rabbit. Yo, peep the background, bro. Behind the big kahuna, the big rabbit. You know what I'm saying? The dude that's speaking behind the podium. It's like I said earlier, bro, like Freemasons. At least right here, it looks like the the Freemason logo, which is like the, the compass and the G in it. But here, there is no compass, but it looks like the shape is made out of like, I guess, lighting, right? The light coming in from outside. And rather than a G being on top of the logo, it's an H. Hail Snowball. Stan Marsh, are you ready to hear the secret of Easter? Yeah. Hell yeah. Are you sure, son? Once you hear the secret, you will be bound to the hair club for men forever. Yeah, I want to know already. Very well. At the Last Supper, Jesus Christ met with his 12 disciples. It was okay. there that he... They what? found us! Protect Snowball! Who's they? What do the ninjas have to do with uh, with the rabbit? They're sword fighting. Death, take Snowball and get out of here. Where am I supposed to go? Just get out of here! <laughs> oh shit, he's gotta be freaking out. Uh, oh, oh. Where is the rabbit? Where are you taking us? No, I'm not going anywhere. Uh. <laughs> oh Just my fight. god. Who did you give the rabbit to? Ooh. Ah, Search damn. the area. The boy could not have gotten far. Yo, Randy is a no. gang. No. No, he's not a gangster. Randy's not a gangster, but Randy's a real one for not for not snitching. He spit on homie. He got beat up, and then they took him. But never, never did he throw his son under the bus. That's fire. My dad's in a rabbit-worshipping cult called the Hair Club for Men. They protect the secret of Easter, but before they said what it was, they were attacked by ninjas and put me in charge of Snowball. <laughs> I'm kind of finger painting right now. Oh, man, that was a Dude, lot. Dude, they took my dad away. They even shot one of his fellow hares. And now they're after me. Do you know anything about Easter? What is the connection between Jesus and rabbits and colored eggs? Yo, that's mass selfish if you think about it, right? They're after Stan now, so Stan decides to go to Kyle's house. It's like the movie uh, Pineapple Express. You know what I'm saying? With, uh, when Seth Rogen threw the uh, the roach out the window, and then the big drug dealer found it, smoked it. <sighs> Pineapple Express. And he, he knew who the Pineapple, Ex Pineapple Express was sold to, so then they ended up going after Seth and, uh, and Saul. You know what I'm saying? He endangered his friend or whatever. Same shit here. Hi, we'd like to speak to a Professor Teabag. <laughs> Teabag. What is it in regard to? <laughs> the history of Easter. Sorry, boys. It's a little late for me to be giving lectures. Damn. Please, do you know anything about the hair club for men? Oh, shit. The keepers. The guardians of the secret. My dad is in it. This rabbit is too, somehow. Come on in. Hold on, what if this guy is involved with the ninjas? And Stan just pulled up to his house all like thinking everything is going to be okay and thinking that homie's going to help him when in reality, he's a part of it the whole time. You know what I mean? 
The Hair Club for Men has been around for centuries. One of its most famous members was Leonardo da Vinci. Huh? Behold the Last oh. Supper. The dinner Christ had with his disciples the night before he was crucified. But there's something the church didn't tell you. In actuality, Peter wasn't a man at all. Saint Peter was a rabbit. Huh? Peter Rabbit. Of course, the church wouldn't allow da Vinci to paint Peter as a rabbit, so he painted him as a man, but left clues. Look closely. I don't see it. Look Neither closelier. Closelier? He looks like a guy. That is Saint Peter, the original Pope of Christianity. I don't believe it. The proof is everywhere. Look at the Pope's hat. It makes no sense, except that it was originally designed for a rabbit. <laughs> Why would Jesus want a rabbit to run his church? Because Jesus knew no one man could speak for everyone in a religion. Men can be intolerant. Rabbits are pure. But the Catholic Church buried the truth, put a man in charge, and the Hair Club for Men has been decorating eggs ever since to keep the secret in Da Vinci's painting alive. Bro, this is nuts. This is so crazy. the Vatican took stands, Dad? Okay, shit literally just got real with the Vatican being involved now. I'm sorry I couldn't bring you the rabbit, your holiness, but they know where it is. The rabbit you call Snowball is a threat to Christ's church. Where is the rabbit? I don't know. And even if I did know, well, I'd probably tell you because I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Take him to be tortured. Tortured? But, but Bill, all this torturing and ninjas, it just doesn't seem very Christian. You asked right. for the help of the American Catholic League. Let us do our job. Take him! No! Yeah, no, you crazy. bunny hating bastards! Don't him? do this! Head to the woods. I'll try to buy you some time. What if it's a setup? What if he's setting the kids up right now? In here! What's that? Peeps! <laughs> he sacrificed himself for the kids. Okay. I respect Mr. Mr. T bag, so Dr. T bag, whatever the his name is. The Pope has my dad. I have to give him what he wants. Jesus. I know we haven't talked in a long time. Is he summoning Jesus, bro? I know that bro? every time you appear, we end up killing you somehow, but I don't know what to do. Oh shit! This is going help. crazy. Thousands have turned out to hear the Pope and celebrate the resurrection. For this Easter Vigil, the Pope is also showing his divine grace by feeding the poor with a massive rabbit stew. No! No! No, don't Bro, move. that is a human. Ah, that is not... This seems extreme. The child who has the That's rabbit has to know that we are willing meat, to bro. kill the hostages if he doesn't hand it over. Your Holiness, a child has arrived with the rabbit. You see? First, you have to promise you won't hurt it and that you'll let everybody go. We promise. We swear it on the cross. Just hand over the body. Don't Dad. trust them, bro. Do not okay, trust fine. them. Okay. Stanley, why did you do that? I would have proudly died for that rabbit. You said hand over the bunny. Right. No. That is not the way we're remembering it. Take them into custody. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Oh my yeah, god. Have These whores must be punished These in front whores? of everyone. You swore on the cross, Tato. Yeah. Too bad for you. It was a double cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have seen that coming. Bill, I'm not sure that double crossing is so is very Christian. Stupid. It is what Christ would have wanted. It's, Who I don't are think you so. To it, say it, that? It's not. Oh shit. It can't be. Jesus. Oh, this shit. is exactly why I put a rabbit in charge of the church, Benedictus, because men are so easily led astray. St. Peter was a rabbit, and a rabbit should be Pope. Kill him. What? He goes against the church. He must die. All right, that <laughs> the does church it, is about I'm Jesus. Sure killing Jesus is not very Christian. You are soft, weak. You leave me no choice. Take them. What are you oh doing? Oh, my God. Yo, that, ba that bad guy with you the glasses are no gives me... You um, fulfill your duties to the Lord. He gives me Cartman vibes, bro. He definitely gives me Cartman vibes. The Easter Vigil will go on as planned. Every hair club member, he just dethroned the Pope. Old, what the hell? Their precious savior dies. What is your problem, guy? Lock up those two Jews. 
deal with them later. Oh, no! My no! God. A strange turn of events here at the Vatican. Pope Benedictus has stepped down, ushering the new era of Pope Bill Donahue. My people! This hey, Easter. This has um this gives me um like it literally just hit me. What's that movie with um with uh with Nicolas Cage? No, it's not Nicolas Cage. It's not Nicolas Cage. It was Angels and Demons, and then there was another one prior to that one. I think it was Tom Hanks that was in it. And it was like it was like the Pope and like I don't remember I don't remember if it was like the Antichrist or it was just like the Illuminati, but Y'all know what I'm talking about, bro. It's angels versus demons, but then there was another one prior to that one. We have no choice, Kyle. You're going to have to kill me. What? Stop no, me. he's a Jew. If I die, I can resurrect outside the bars. You don't understand. I, I'm a Jew. I have a few <laughs> about killing Jesus. Just make it quick. Through the neck. I'll arise again immediately. Eric Cartman can never know about this. <laughs> I understand. And Kyle, happy Easter. Happy Easter, Jesus. Oh. 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 And it's a it's a slow painful death too. Oh my god, what if it doesn't work? Hey, let's get it. Jesus, stop! That rabbit is of holy descent. Why won't you go away? One man! Cannot oh, that dude be the voice of, of the Carmen church. So much. Enough of this blasphemy! I am the Pope now! That means I am the voice of God! Not anymore. The I'm hell? removing you from your position. Fidget spinner? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Blade. <laughs> That's crazy. Your Holiness, what should we tell the world about how to run their lives? I don't think he's going to answer it you, bro. He isn't saying anything. Yes, just as Jesus intended it. He's a rabbit. He doesn't speak. Stanley, I'm so proud of you. You've learned so very much this Easter. Yeah, I've learned not to ask questions. Just dye the eggs and keep my mouth shut. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> is that it? This was a great episode. This was an absolute banger. And uh, shout out to everybody that suggested it, man. I definitely enjoyed it. Shout out in the comments below. What was this episode called, bro? Fantastic Easter special. Well, let me know your thoughts on this episode right here, man. Listen, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this video with me. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And join the family. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.